handle all of the incoming that goes to Facebook, that goes to Mark specifically? I think it's, it's hard. Like, the way your gut feels when your best friend walks home, comes home and it's Mark like, Zuckerberg's incredible Facebook success has put him on the list of billionaire CEOs and revolutionized technology and social media. With how much time Zuckerberg spends working on Facebook technology, he rarely gets the opportunity to travel. However, when he does, he certainly travels in a luxurious, comfortable style. Here is the inside of Mark Zuckerberg's $195 million Ulysses yacht. And before we begin, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell to see more content like this in the future. August. Who recently had a birthday? Me. How old did you turn? Four. The yacht was built in 2016 and measures up to 107 meters. This yacht is more of a super yacht with its incredible size. The Ulysses yacht was commissioned for $250 million by New Zealand billionaire Graham Hart. This yacht was then sold for $195 million at a later date to Mark Zuckerberg. With the incredible amount of amenities available on board, it's no surprise that this luxury yacht would be used for some incredible vacation time. One of these amenities is a pool measuring 12 meters long, perfect for a vigorous swim or a pool party. The pool is located 9 meters above sea level and has ample shade from being partially covered by the third level deck. Various seating areas surround the pool, so guests can relax and dry off after a nice swim. For an even more relaxing time, a large jacuzzi is located across the pool, so multiple people can soak and relax in the hot, bubbly water. Now, most people use a yacht in order to swim in the open water, but the Ulysses was specially built to navigate remote waters where it might be too dangerous and too rough to swim. It even has a jellyfish-proof pool deck. The swimming pool is not the only incredible area on the yacht. Nearby the pool is a large dining area with a rooftop and a barbecue area, which is ideal for a nice lunch after swimming or even an informal work lunch. To relax, there are multiple outdoor seating and dining areas on the deck to be able to soak up as much sun as possible. All of the furniture is white with blue accents, a match to Facebook's color profile. And for more formal dining, the main deck has an indoor closed dining area with a crystal chandelier. This dining room has direct access to the chef's kitchen, and the attitude is more like a hotel and restaurant than the pool deck, which is more relaxed. The chef brings out the food and provides the best service to guests in the main deck dining area. The kitchen has a huge freezer and lots of storage space, perfect for holding the ingredients needed for a fancy, important business dinner. There's a room with curved walls across the dining area holding the fanciest, most expensive wines. There's another bar seating arrangement inside facing large windows so guests can sip their wine and watch the waves on the glorious open water. This is a perfect area for a celebration glass of wine after a successful business dinner. The ship itself was built in Norway. The hull is the work of the company Kleven, and with other work done by Marine Technique Verkstad. The idea behind the yacht was to make a ship with no limitations. In fact, this ship can actually sail halfway around the world before it needs to be refueled. The ship was also meant to withstand extreme conditions as it sailed, including Arctic waters. The control systems are Rolls-Royce, and the interior design was created by H2 Yacht Design and finished by Europlan. The main deck is decorated in blue and white furniture, and with glass bead curtains separating the main formal living room from the smaller informal living room. The bedrooms contain floor-to-ceiling windows, showing off a delightful view of the ocean. There is enough room and space to host 20 guests aboard. The main cabin is the largest cabin on the ship, with a size of 107 meters. And it's so big, it actually takes up an entire deck. This room is decorated differently than the rest of the ship, with the color palette of white, beige, and gold instead of the standard white and blue. This deck gives Zuckerberg space away from the rest of the world, where he can relax and let all his stress melt away while watching the waves. There's multiple spaces specifically meant to entertain guests, such as large seating areas, bars, viewing decks, even a large seating area on the Explorer's Bridge. This gives guests space away from the crew to be able to relax and ignore the stresses of the world. There are multiple dining areas on the Ulysses, even one set up like a diner with a less gourmet menu. And the diner kitchen operates 24 hours a day, so late night snacking is always an option nearby. Another incredible area on the Ulysses is the luxury spa. The spa contains treatments such as a plunge pool, a sauna, massage rooms, and steam rooms. 
The spa also contains a display screen with soothing jellyfish visuals to help relax guests as they enter the spa. The wellness area also contains a gym with cardio and strength equipment, so guests can keep up with their workout routines even on the open ocean. And of course, what would a luxury yacht be without a cinema room? The cinema contains a large screen and projector, along with incredible speakers and sound equipment, and multiple comfortable chairs for guests to sit and watch movies in. When the yacht was built, it was requested to have a helipad carrier on top so that helicopters could land on top of the ship. This would also allow for guests to take the helicopter to go to places that the ship itself could not reach, allowing for more exploration. The Explorer's Garage also contains multiple exploration vehicles, such as jet skis, motorcycles, even SUVs. These vehicles allow guests to explore islands and quickly move about on land. While it's not unusual for super yachts to carry other vehicles, the sheer amount contained on the Ulysses is rarely seen on a yacht that size. The Ulysses carries another ship inside of its bow. The second ship is a two-deck, 24-meter boat, a second yacht. Two specialty cranes can only lift this ship, and the removal process takes over an hour. The crew must be informed in advance if a guest plans to use the smaller yacht, so the proper preparations procedure can occur. There are 43 crew members on the ship, giving each guest the proper attention needed at sea. The crew area has a large laundry area with four washing machines and dryers, so guests have their laundry done fast and with incredible care. The crew also has their own lounge area and gym to relax and have fun on their breaks. One of the things about Ulysses that people are confused about is this. How could Hart simply sell this yacht if he spent so much time working on it? He gave his vision of open guest spaces, helipad carriers, and space for adventure all in one incredible ship. So why would he part with it so easily? Well, Hart had actually commissioned two Ulysses yachts, the second measuring 116 meters. In 2018, the second yacht was named the Andromeda, and Hart sold the first Ulysses to Mark Zuckerberg. The Andromeda has all the features of the Ulysses and more, even including a 21-meter Princess 68-foot yacht. It makes sense with a ship like this why Hart would part with the Ulysses so easily, as he still had one ship that matched his vision. As of current, Google states that Yuri Milner, a Russian billionaire, owns both the Ulysses and Andromeda, but the change in ownership hasn't been officially confirmed. The Andromeda cannot be up for hire by individuals unlike the Ulysses. So, what did you think? Is this yacht truly worth the money? Would you like to set sail on a yacht like this? Let us know down in the comments below. And remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell in order to see more content like this in the future. And we'll see you next time.